Good morning, everybody. This is Steve with Real Progressives. I want to talk a little bit about decoupling taxation from spending because we're seeing this hit the mainstream media in big ways. So Ryan Grimm is out there on Twitter. And Ryan Grimm is a huge following. And he's talking clearly about AOC and making minds on Capitol Hill. Its heads are exploding everywhere because she's actually going out and saying the things that real progressives have been saying for the last four years. She's actually saying it as an elected official. And she's out there telling you we're going to decouple taxation from spending. Stop stop focusing because taxes don't fund spending. Guess what? Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is saying that now. So the people that were yelling at us, calling it a cult, all this other stuff, I'm watching all of a sudden they're posting these things up as if they were with it all along. Don't worry, it'll be our little secret that you called it a cult a little while ago. We'll keep it just between us homies, right? You can pretend like you knew it all along. You were always on board. You were always in the go. All the way back, man. All the way back. I don't care. You can fake it till you make it. You can fake it till you make it. You can pretend like you've been a a fellow traveler the whole way through. It's all good. Because as long as we get a Green New Deal, as long as people are starting to wake up, I don't care. I don't even need an apology for those who called it a cult or called us cult leaders. I just need to see a Green New Deal. I need to see health care. And I'm super excited. I mean, when you see Politico talking about this, and then you see Forbes talking about it, and then you see Fox News even, Fox News even talking about it. I mean, we're talking about the home run ball. And there's Stephanie Kelton, smooth as silk, cool as the other side of the pillow. And there she is, just laying the smack down, gently, sweetly, softly, for the ears that have never heard it before. She's out there saying point blank, you never ask how you're going to afford war. You never ask how you're going to afford this. But here we go. We want to go ahead and provide a Green New Deal. And suddenly, you want to worry about how we're going to pay for it. Wrong question. As long as we have real resources, we can afford anything we need. And the United States, as we always say, is the richest country in the world. And it's not rich because it has a lot of U.S. pieces of paper. It's rich because it's rich in real resources. It's rich in labor. It's rich in minerals. It's rich in the ability to do great things. And so we can keep it as our little secret for all the newcomers that called MMT a cult before, for all the people who were saying that MMT cult, it's okay. It's our little secret. I won't tell a soul. I won't tell anybody you called it a cult. Promise. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Because this right here is how we save the world. Since 1971, when Richard Nixon removed us from the Bretton Woods Accord, we have been on a sovereign free-floating, non-convertible fiat currency, period. End of discussion. Going all the way back to 1946, Beardsley Rummel said taxes for revenue are obsolete. He meant it. He said it. It was true. Folks, taxes literally don't fund spending. That's not how this works. Taxes are used as a break or a gas pedal for overheating or a slow performing economy, nothing more. They don't pay for any programs. They don't pay for roads at the federal level. They don't pay for the military at the federal level. They don't pay for a Green New Deal at the federal level. We pay for all of our programs with keystrokes fingers on the keyboard. And that, my friends, is what Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is out there saying right now. For all you AOC fans out there, for all you people fist in the air that love AOC, she is straight up talking modern monetary theory, period. And if you're going to get partisan on me, I don't have time for you. 
I've been fighting nonstop for this. And if you can't see that truth about the economic system and you want to worry about Dems and Republicans, take that shit elsewhere. I'm out of here. I'm going to celebrate. Have a good day, everybody.